minimum window subsequence. Yeah, so let's first understand the question. So we are giving a string s and another string s2. Yeah, so we're gonna find the shortest subsequence. Yeah, you should know that it is a subsequence, it is not substring. Yeah, because the subsequence it is not continuous. So for example, BDE, we can find BCDE, and inside there is a sequence of BDE. So we're gonna return this BCDE. And there's another one, BDDE, yeah, but the length is also 4, but uh, while there is an equal length, which is uh, 4, we're gonna return the first string, it means the first index, so it's gonna be BCDE instead of BDDE, yeah. So how should we solve this problem? Uh, I think the first idea is the sliding window, yeah. So let me copy the string and, sim yeah, and simulate uh, the process of the sliding window. So, yeah, we have a string S1 and S2. So, basically for the sliding window, we're gonna take the character one by one. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna take the character one by one. And this is A, this is B, it is not possible. So it will shift it to B, and, and then it's gonna find a D and E. And this is a C, not possible, and then it goes to D, and then it goes to E. So up to here, we find A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, so we are sure this is uh, one of the possible results, but the length is 5. And this is uh, the uh, L pointer, and from E, it is uh, the R pointer. And for this string, yeah, maybe it is uh, much longer. Maybe there are like uh, two, yeah, maybe this is uh, not the first character, because the first character should be B. So, if we get a string like this, so the left portal can be sifted, yeah, it can be sifted to B, yeah, it can become B, C, D, E, yeah. But uh, this is uh, not the right way to um, solve this problem, yeah, because even we sift the uh, left portal, we are not sure this is gonna be the smallest, uh, yeah, it's gonna be the smallest uh, result. Yeah, like uh, this example. Yeah, so for example, um, yeah, we're gonna sit to the left and we have a, a B, C, D, E. But what about the next step? Yeah, so for the for the sliding window here, up to here, we find, yeah, we find something and the left portal will be sifted to B. Yeah, and then we're gonna still use the same process. But that will get the wrong answer. Because even we get a B C D E, but that that may not be the final result. Yeah, it can be it can be a smaller result. Yeah, I think I can make a make a drawing. Yeah, let let me just make a make a drawing to explain it. So let me make a drawing. I think there is. A, um, yeah, um, whiteboard. Yeah, let me use uh, the whiteboard. Yeah, I forget the name. There's a lot of uh, whiteboard online. Um, yeah, let me just make a drawing. So it can be some things like this. So we, yeah, if we have a sequence like this is a A and this is a B, and we're gonna find a subsequence inside A of B. Yeah, but how can we find that? The straightforward way is, yeah, this is the left pointer and this is the right pointer. If we find a left pointer and find a right pointer, and then we're gonna shift this uh, left pointer, maybe from here we find an answer. And then what are we gonna do? If we use the sliding window, so the L pointer uh, would be here, and R pointer maybe some other places. But that's gonna be wrong because even the L pointer is here, R pointer is here. But it can inside during these areas inside it can be a possible result. Yeah, because maybe the L pointer can 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 be here. Yeah, maybe the R pointer is here. This one may be shorter. Yeah, so this is uh, why it cannot be solved like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe I can. 
and prepare some. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to think of an example, but the way is a, uh, yeah, just uh, just uh, like like that. Uh, yeah, maybe we have an example of uh, A B C. Yeah, we have uh, something like uh, A A and uh, B B A. Say, yeah. If we are doing it like that, maybe from A to C, we have a subsequence, and then this A would be shifted to this place, and then we're gonna still have like A B C. It's gonna A B A C. It's gonna be shorter. Yeah. But what if it is just like, uh, mm, like this? Yeah. So it's gonna be A A B A B C. Yeah. So from the left to the right, we find A, B, and until C, it is uh, there are six characters. Now we're gonna shift to the left, shift to this A. Yeah. But we can only shift to to this A. Yeah. So this is why it is uh, wrong. We can only shift it to this A because this is gonna be be a B. Yeah. Even we shift it to A, but it, it, the length is five, but it's not the possible result. Yeah, that means the forward is not not okay. If we want to use forward, it must be the brute force, and the brute force is O n square. It is O n square. It's not possible. So we have to go backward. So yeah, if we want to find A B C, what are we gonna do? First of all, yeah, let me just delete these areas. Yeah, we have to go backward. First of all, we go forward. We find A, A, and B, and C. We find a subsequence. Yeah, it is like this. A, A, B, A, C. But it is too much longer. Yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to go back. So, uh, yeah, here there is a B. So we're going to go back. So this is a C, and we compare. Here is a C, and then go back. Here is B. So here is B, and here is A. Now, if we go back, we can find a possible result. So A B C is shorter. So we're gonna return this A B C. Yeah. But even we go back, what? The, um, how how does this pointer shifted? If this pointer is I and this uh, this pointer is C, yeah. So how does uh, and this pointer is C? Yeah. Let me. And uh, here this point. At C, this pointer is C. Yeah, but what about the right pointer? If this is uh, the right pointer, yeah, this A B C can only be a possible result. It is not the shortest. So, for example, the whole process is like this. Yeah, so we're gonna find a, a, a subsequence from uh, uh, this uh, uh, I to the uh, right side to this side, and then we go back. Yeah, up to here, we find a, so the I pointer will go back, go to this place. First, the I pointer will go forward, and then the I pointer will go back at this place. Maybe this is a possible result. But what's the next step? The next step, I will be shifted by one. I will be here, and this one will go forward. Yeah, it will be like this. Maybe, maybe there is a smaller. Result, yeah. Maybe this is not possible, and uh, go forward like this, like this, goes up to here, and then from this side it maybe only go up to here, and uh, this is this line may be the shortest. So we're gonna return this this line. So this is why th this kind of sliding window is so difficult. Yeah. So th the idea is uh, just uh, the eye pointer can go to the right side. And then the eye pointer can also go to the left side. It is not at one direction, so that is why it is a little bit harder than the normal sliding window problem. Yeah, but the whole process is the same. Yeah. What about the Z pointer? So for the Z pointer, it is just go forward to check this A B C and go backward to check C B A. Because if we go forward to find A B C and then go backward, we must, yeah, find a C B A. Yeah, we just need to find the positions and find the shortest one.
From this process, the time complexity will still be O m times n. Yeah, even you think this i will go forward and backward, actually there's not so many process. Yeah, if we didn't fi find it, it is just O n. It is just O m times m plus uh, yeah, let me. Yeah, if we didn't find it, it is just O m plus n. Yeah, but what if we fi find it, it is uh, m times n. Yeah, so the time complexity, I be I think it is uh, m times n. So that is why it can pass. Yeah, let me go back to the coding. Uh, yeah. So let me start coding. So I'm going to prepare a variable i and uh, z to be equal to uh, 0. i is for s1 and z is for s2. And I'm going to prepare l index and r index. And this is uh, used to check the length of the string, length of the subsequence. I'm going to check the shortest one. And mn is uh, the shortest. Sortist value, so it's gonna be zero, zero, and infinity because I'm gonna check the minimum. So m n is the minimum distance. Now I'm going to check the string s one for i less than s one. So I'm going to check uh, this j. So if s two j equal to s one s1 i, so j should be updated by 1, yeah, until I find uh, the result, yeah, until this uh, j equal to length of uh, s2, yeah, if this j equal to s2, it means it has already go to the end, yeah, go out of the uh, index 2, it is index 3 for this one, it, it go to the end, it means uh, I've already find a uh, uh, possible uh, result, yeah. Otherwise, if I didn't find, yeah, if I didn't find it, uh, so the i index would plus one. Yeah. Yeah, because as as you see here, if this i, if this j plus one, it means j can always go to the end. But if j cannot go to the end, the i should always plus one until the i go out of the loop and we're gonna stop. It means we didn't fight, yeah. But uh, now, let's check the if condition. So if we find a possible result, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna update uh, the j and, uh, yeah, we're gonna update the j first. Yeah, so j would be uh, minus one. Yeah, because j has out of the boundary. So z would be shifted back to one place at pointed to this e, yeah. And what about uh, the i pointer? And the we're gonna have a rec record of the right side of the string s one because we're gonna get the shortest uh, subsequence. So r should equal to I, yeah, because at this position, for example, at this position we find a result, this is I, I put it at this position, so we're going to have a right boundary, it should equal to, to I, yeah. Now, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to just check, yeah, if this I, uh, yeah, we're going to check this J, if J, is more than and equal to zero. Uh, we're gonna check if s two j equal to s one i. Yeah. So in this way, j would be minus one, and after that, i should also minus one. Yeah. If everything is okay, it means i has already, yeah, it means i already minus a 1, but this i should plus a 1. Yeah, so for example, this is e, and this is 
E here, and this is a D, and go back, C didn't find, and then B find. And if it is a find, so Z would minus 1, Z out of the boundary, right? But outside the if, this is I, I should minus 1, I put it to A. Yeah. Of course, I should plus 1. Why? Because we need to start from this B. Yeah, because the result is B, C, D, E, so the I should plus 1. Yeah. Now we're going to check if R the right boundary minus i plus 1 is less than the minimum. So the minimum would be equal to r minus i plus 1. And uh, the left boundary should equal to i. Yeah, Because we needed to know the first place of the left boundary, it pointed to b. At point, the index is 1, so the left boundary should be i. Yeah. So after that, it means everything's OK. We've already found an answer. Yeah, the if condition, we've already if we found an answer. If we didn't find it, it's still OK. But the, we should start again. So the z pointer should be equal to 0. It means it's going to be start the next loop. So the i, maybe it will start uh, uh, from C and then until find, find this B. Yeah, until I find this B, I go to this B, we're gonna start our second loop. Maybe we find a shorter result. Maybe not. Yeah. So this is why Z should be reset to zero. Now we're gonna check the final result. Yeah. So we're gonna return the final result. We're gonna return an empty string. If uh, minimum equal to infinity, else we're gonna return this is a string. It should be l, l plus mn. mn is the minimum distance. l is the left side, is the starting index. Yeah. So it is a lot of code and uh, a lot of uh, details you need to consider because this kind of a sliding window. It means the i pointer go forward, go backward, and also for the z pointer go forward, go backward. Yeah, basically there are two process forward and backward. This this makes the coding a little bit harder. Now let me submit it to Chuck. Mm, this should be S one. Let me submit again. As you can see, it works. Yeah. Now let me submit it to Chuck if it can pass all the testing cases. As you can see, it's pretty fast. So this means that definitely the time complexity cannot be n square or n square m. The time complexity is m times n. The m is 100, the n is 2 times 10 to the power of 4. Yeah, even the i and z goes forward and backward, but there's not so much process. For example, if we didn't find the answer, so the, the i pointer will just go forward until to this position. And the z pointer, we also go forward to this position. It didn't find, yeah. So it's gonna gonna just uh, O M plus N, yeah. If it did find, for example, from here, it did find, yeah. But it, it it will not check one by one. Even here is I plus one, but uh, here, if yeah, but here there is this I should be minus one, and here the i will go back. It means, for example, we have some string like this. Yeah. If we go backward, for example, go forward, if we go go backward, it means we only go to here. So this strings will be jumped. Yeah. So if we have something else like a, b, c, d, e, f, j, it's, yeah, if it's not the same value, it will just jump to the next one. For example, this is B, and then it's gonna find the next B. And for here, this is just O1 for each of the time, and until to here. So it means the time complexity cannot be N square. It is just M times N. Yeah. If this is string S2 is too much longer, I think it cannot pass. Yeah. Because this S2 is shorter, so it can pass. 